I feel like I can get tripped up with this one. This is a good one that can trip me off. So I'll just let you guys see that one. It's this one. Strength. I actually don't remember if this one's been done before. Let's see. Art by Jen Lee, code by Barley, music by Violet Delta. Oh, yeah. We'll have to see, because I honestly don't remember this one. If I actually did this one before or not. Mimic. Too easy. I don't think so. I don't think so. And this is space, so maybe that's a jump one for this one. Now this one, I can really, I see myself tripping. I'm not the best when it comes to pattern memorization like that. I don't see myself being really good at that one. And especially if it changes up. Okay, I, the fact that I got that one is pure lucky. I honestly do, I would not have gotten that normally. Let's see. Okay. So I do like this, it's fine. Using Alice in the dolls. Um And from the looks of it, you're not delayed. Like once you do one dance, you're stuck to it. Like you can go as fast as you can. Yeah, there you go. That's that's nice. So if you're fast with your if you if you get a memorization and you're fast with your key strokes, you should be good to go here. Um but yeah, I see this is a game that I could probably lose a life pretty easily, honestly. Again, like I said, this is not my style. Like, I don't, I'm not good with these kind of games. So, I get blasted pretty hard. I know my weaknesses when it comes to uh, these mini games, so. Okay, and I think that's it. That should be it for now. Yeah, so there's that. Pretty fun, pretty fun. I, I like the, the doll's movement. Pretty elaborate, I must say. This one, we were playing this one, Cha Chinko, and you know, it's the one Reimu catching money, because you know, she needs donation. So the art was by Queen Delta, code by Brian, and then music by Grease Monkey. This one I played before, obviously, Wrist Guard, uh, art by Shiny Raichu94, code by Honk, Honk Rabu, music is by a script Master and Tech, and Plus Tech. Frog, we did this before and before. This is Mir Mir, art by Mir Mir Art. So, you know, Mir is the voice for the Nidri Inc., uh, the, the Nidri character in general. When you hear, like, like the voices, the dialogue, uh, that that's her. That's her. Uh, code is Brian, and music by Grease Monkey. This I played before, Ghost Threat, Phantom Devourer. Uh, good times, good times. Uh, done by Mir. So, okay, Mir to see. Bro code by Brian, and music by John. All right. This one is new. Okay, a match made in the hell. Art by Kobe. Uh, that should be how I say it. Kobe by Barley and then music by Saga Rebellion. Alright, so at least we know Hecate is involved, given it's based on hell, at the very least. No okay, okay, yeah, okay. So just match the shapes up. Okay, I was like, which one is this one? I wasn't too sure how to start this one up. Okay, so you just align them accordingly to the shape of their hat. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so even different colors, because that actually did through me. That, I, I, was, I was pausing for a second with the color itself, but yeah. Excellent. So just based on shapes, colors, not exactly the main thing, I think, as far as I know. It's just shape. Shape is the most important part when it comes to aligning these ones. So at least we got the two... So it looks like at the highest difficulty, I'll use two and then not a similar color. Because this one, red, red, blue, blue, usually that kind of sword. This one, I mean, it's kind of grayish here. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, okay. If I make a me if I mean, you make a fuck up though, that's gonna hit you hard. Too easy. All right, so there's that. One more level and then we should be good. Because I think we covered pretty much the basics of this game. Pretty much just, um, just correspond the shapes to their head. Oh, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Okay. No, I'm not going down like that. I'm not going down like that. I'm not going down like that. I'm going back to that, 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 uh, that stage and doing it again. Doing that part again. I'm not, I'm not doing like that. Okay, so I should go test out. Okay, no, not on another stage. I'll, I'll test something out later on the other stage. Okay, so it looks like 
You don't have to be on this specific place. Like, you don't have to be, like, up here. You can go... Okay, actually, let me test it again. Let me test it again. Nope. Okay, so you still need to be in that range. That's actually good, good to know. So you still need to be near the proximity. Because I was thinking, if you placed it on the body, you might be better. Because it would be a lot faster, in my opinion, if you put it on the body. Because it has more space. I'm trying to be precise while moving it now. But you still need to be precise with that one. Okay. So that's good to know. Good to know. So, Kavya, Treasure and Memory. I don't remember if I played this before. I don't think so, but we'll, we'll see. Contro, or by Contro, code by Chair G, T G Tables, and the music by Vincent MRL. Oh, yeah. It's a mouse game, so we'll see how this plays out. Watch. Okay. No, no, I don't think I played this. I was thinking of the Marissa Potion game. Horai branch. Yeah, I was thinking of the because I'm thinking there's, there's a memory game like this, like you pick out the items you're putting in, and it wasn't popping. And that's the mercy. And this game is just, you know, just uh, knowing what item it is. So and, and it's based on Kaguya's five treasures, the sacred treasures she has, which you deal with in you know in Imperishable. All right. So I think the difficulty. I, I think what I noticed was that the, the curtains it's got to, it gets smaller. Yeah, I think that's the difficulty of this game. It gets smaller, so then you have less uh, visibility on whatever item in it, and it, and it increases based on the items it has. So, yeah, it's smaller. Perfect. So yeah. So that's how it gets tougher. Uh, smaller curtains, more treasures on the screen. So yeah. Yeah, but the, the thing is, they're very distinctive. Though they are, I think they're very distinctive in their shapes. So it, it makes it a bit easier to deal with and color too. So you see, so because you see the colors when you're flying by. So this is not a bad game because if it's just one item, like the fire raft, rat, rat, whatever the fuck it's called, okay. So that one's pretty easy. I think this one, I don't think I'll, I'll personally wouldn't be tripped off with this one, but you never know on a uh, when you're playing multiple games. No. But this one, I think I, I can do pretty well. I can do pretty well. I can do pretty well. This one is do the math. Oh boy. Art by Bob A. Links, coded by Dekoto Deconomist Deco Creator, and music by Drag Dragonius. Uh, what Dragonix? Whatever. Fuck. Let's just do this. Dragon. There you go. Oh, that'll be easier in my end. This is a mouse game as well. Uh. Okay. Okay, I wasn't too sure if it was trying to represent something else. If there were different things or there's still numbers. So there are numbers. They are numbers. Oh, so minus three. Okay. Because because the different shapes kind of throw me off. I'm like, is it trying to be something else? But no, it's just it's simple math. It's simple math. Five. Okay, so. Okay, so now I know how this game operates. So this one, again, it's just based on math skills. So if your math skills good, it's pretty good. Conical's there. Not Conical, fucking Kane is there as the teacher. Again, it makes sense. She's the teacher. That is a uh, three. Now this one again is mostly based on your mental skills of can you solve it quick, and then finding it obviously. I think I do pretty well in this one. I think I do pretty well in this one again. My basic math, basic mental math, it's pretty decent. I would say it's good enough to get through this pretty fast. All right, why does fucking Kane look like a cat in there? I swear she looks like a cat. Let me, let me, let's see. That is a seven. Is it? No, that was fucking eight. I'm an idiot. See, it's decent, not the best. That's a six. Okay, so, so the Lizzie looks like a, when she claps, it's like a wave. It shows like it draws the line of motion. So it looks like she's a cat, but the, like when the wind lines are lined up like a whiskers, but no, she's just clapping fast. That's a seven. Now I got the fucking seven, bitch. Not getting. You're not tripping me off this time. Not tripping me off this time. This is four. Fast, fast. Okay, what do you got, motherfucker? This is a six. Oh, I swear, if I got that round, I would have lost my shit. I was so confident too. 
All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. So that's the math game. Again, it's based on your mental skills, on your mental math. And then, you know, the, the placement of the numbers can be a little different too. So you gotta be fast on reacting. And that's like pretty much the pre premise of the, all the games. Fast reactions, good memory and all that. But each game has their strengths and weaknesses. Oh, ooh. Umbola. Art by Peachman's, code by Brian, and music by Teak. No, let me see, let me look at the place. I wanna make a comment, but I wanna play this first. Spook. Okay, so you, you move, then press space bar right on the person. All right. The only time Kogusa is gonna get her job right. I'm, I'm assuming if you, if you miss the area, then it, the effect doesn't work well. <laughs> Suga going manly there. So let's try it. What happens if you're not in the same range? Okay, yeah. So, so we see Rainbow being disappointed. Orange is laughing at her. And then we see Suwako. Let's see. Blasted. Okay, so that's 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 the one it looks like when you miss. Oh, but again, this is the only time she's gonna be scaring motherfuckers, man. Now, I know, I'm, now, obviously, as you can tell, I'm doing the range based on up close. I'm not sure what the, like... Okay, okay, okay. So, and this time that she jumped right after. Okay, so... So, even if you're in the same um, vicinity as Subaco, if she jumps, you're not gonna get the uh, uh, scare. Alright. But yeah, I wanna make... I'm gonna make comments or something. So, the art style looks very similar to... One of the pictures I covered for the top tens, um, where, um, if you remember, Wakisaka Hime insults Yomu, and then Yomu gives her to Yuyuko to eat. Uh, I shut on your chum. Something like that. It should be like that. So, it looks very similar. I'm not for sure if it, it, the art is inspired by it, or this is the actual same artist. But that's just something I want to make note of. It looks very similar to that. But you only see, like, one few pictures. But it, it, it felt, uh, that's why I connected to it when I first saw that. Yoko. So this is the new one I was playing. So this is art by 216. What a great name. I'm honestly serious. So fucking easy to say. Like, not 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 at Avio or Sumiriko. I don't know why Sumiriko because I see it down there. But not none of that. None of that crazy shit. Just two one six. Fucking great. See, this is why I love when I get a simplistic fucking name. Okay, let's continue on. Code by Barley and a music by Ariel Andrew. Andrew. Fuck, I'm hungry right now. Oh, I can't wait to be done recording. I'm gonna edit all the net big food. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse. Okay, I, I, yeah, now I notice it. it goes from Japanese to English, which is nice, which is nice. Well, it's. Fuck, I can't read that. I can't read that. It's too, it, it flies too fast for me to read that. Or right, I think the font's too small too for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that so that's the difficulty it has. Speed, obviously. And then it just gets darker, which is, you know, makes sense. Darker, so it's harder to see, which is nice because it blends with the whole uh text, because which is like black with a white outline. And then obviously this is the hard stage. So that's how the stage operates. Um, hmm. I like, I, I like Kogyo, like, you know, reflecting, because she does reflect, like, if you play the game, you, uh, she reflects shit, or her Demako anyway, and it's all about waves, or uh, echoes, echoes. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Okay. So, hmm. This game, I think I can do pretty well. This one, I, I think I'm pretty confident with that game. So that's mm, good. That's good. 